I think most of us can relate to this scenario. I was in a Teams meeting recently that felt like a little bit of chaos was going on. There were people who had hot mics talking over the presenter, others who kept turning their video cameras on and off even though the organizer asked them to leave the cameras off, and people had joined the meeting that the organizer did not invite. At the end of the meeting, they asked me, how can they reduce this chaos in their meetings? The best way for you to take control of your meeting is to set up the Teams meetings options before the meeting starts. The first thing that you need to know is that you will not see the meeting options in Teams until the meeting has been created and sent out. In this example, we're going to use the all hands meeting that I have already sent to my colleagues. As the organizer, I can select the meeting from the calendar and then choose edit. At the top of the screen, you will see the meeting options and the response options. One of the questions that I get frequently is how do I stop people from forwarding my meeting? You can turn that option off by clicking on the drop down next to response options and deselect allow forwarding. Next, we're going to click on meeting options to see some additional choices that you have. When I click on meeting options, it's going to open up a separate page. The biggest pain point for a lot of people is the hot mic issue. So what a lot of organizers do is they go in and they toggle off the allow mic for attendees and they select no. You may as well turn off cameras at the same time. And then the organizer thinks they're done. But here's what you need to know about Microsoft Teams. By default, the who can present option is everyone. This means that everyone is a presenter, not an attendee. Toggling the mic and the camera off will have no effect unless you also click the drop down and change who can present to specific people or only me and the co-organizer. Now that I set who can present to only me and the co-organizer, let's take a look at how to select a co-organizer. Click the drop down next to search for participants and you will see a list of people who've been invited that belong to your organization. Guests cannot be co-organizers in Teams meetings. For this demonstration, I'm going to select Nestor to be my co-organizer. Another way to take control of your Teams meeting is to change the setting for who can bypass the lobby. By default, it is set to people in my organization and guests but you can open that up to have more people bypass the lobby or narrow it down. So for example, if you want to use the most narrow setting, you can say only you and the co-organizers, or you can set it for everyone. Usually people pick somewhere in between. I find the people I invite turn off allow forwarding to be a useful option. I would use this if you have the problem where attendees send your invite out to other people, but you really need to restrict access to your meeting. This way, even if the attendee sends out a link to your meeting, the person will still have to wait in the lobby. Another option that I switch as a personal preference is to turn off announce when callers join or leave. I can't control if somebody's going to show up late or leave the meeting early, but I can reduce the distractions by turning off the noise that Teams makes when somebody joins or leaves. The next setting that will allow you to take control of your meeting has to do with the meeting chat. By default, the chat is enabled and people can post messages before, after, and during a meeting. You can turn the chat off if you want to minimize sidebar conversations or only allow the chat to be used during the meeting. Now let's talk about Q&A. This used to be an app that you could add to a meeting by creating a tab. As of August 2022, Q&A is controlled via meeting settings. If you toggle this on, then the Q&A option will appear in the meeting controls at the top of the Teams meeting when you're using the Teams desktop app. If you don't see Q&A, it is because your admin has turned it off. When you have made all of your changes, remember to save so that the meeting options will update for the specific meeting you chose. Now I have better control over my upcoming All Hands meeting. To learn more about Teams, check out the playlist that is on the screen now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.